a lot of libertarians are concerned about the welfare state and immigration. You know, they think that immigrants overly use the welfare state, they crowd onto it, um, they are net fiscal drains on the U.S. government, and there's really very little evidence of this. Uh, immigrants, even legal immigrants, don't have access to many welfare programs in the United States. Ever since the Welfare Reform Act in 1996, most immigrants who are even eligible for these programs uh, don't take advantage of them. Now, there's a lot of reasons for that. Uh, immigrants are self-selected to be more mobile and more um, interested in working in the United States and the people they leave behind. That's why they're willing to move thousands of miles to come here. But it's also just because the American welfare state is not set up to help people who are poor immigrants. The American welfare state is set up to help uh, elderly uh, women who are sick on average. The average migrant is young, healthy, and male. So there's already a fundamental disconnect in that way. Um, and all the studies that show uh, migrant use of the welfare state, they underuse it relative to Americans who, have this, who are the same age, same income, same amount of education, etc. And they assimilate very well into that, into the American society in that way later in later generations. If you have a problem with the welfare state and immigration, the answer is reforming welfare, not cunning legal immigration.